high-speed four-barrel dual exhaust. That's what 442 stood for back in 1964 when it first came out. This is a big bot car, 1970, belongs to Bob Ashman. Bob, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bob. You're one of the sick Oldsmobile lovers here, man. Yes. Do you know this garage is air conditioned? You know, it's we were gonna go outside cooler. and look at your car. Right, And yep. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's summer. Stay it's, in here. Yeah, stay in here. So you brought this baby in, and yes. it did it have a, a, a radical idle to it when you came in. Big block, little wild cam in here. Big block, wild cam. You've yep. had this car for a while. Yes. Tell our viewers all about it, everything you've done to it. Um, this car I had in high school, and uh, we painted this in 1981. So the paint job is 26 years old. Um, Beautiful lacquer job. It is a lacquer job. Um, it's, what can I say? It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a rare original car. Uh, pretty close. It, I didn't take it quite as far as what Greg did with his. Right. Just uh, the, the paint job and a few detailing under the engine compartment, but other than that, it's pretty much original. Now, mm -hmm. when Dave called me and asked to do a show out here with you guys, you had a little uh, exhaust or a vacuum leak with the head gasket, intake manifold gasket, right? Right, yeah. And so you guys thrashed for, tell the story about that, what it took to get this thing ready for the show. Five days. And, uh, and we, no nights. And no nights. No uh, sleeping last, nights. Anyway. Last night it was 2.30 in the morning. Yes. And uh, then we found out the fuel pump didn't work. So None I of the parts stores were open. Nope, nope, none huh. of the official good parts stores. Okay, so, right. <laughs> uh, went down and, and got one this morning, put it on, and it fired right up. And, Excellent. And uh, drove it right here from Appleton. So. Excellent. Now, dual gate shifters, all you guys have in here, no four speeds. No four speeds. They were available with a four speed, right? Yes, they were. And according to Duane, which we'll meet a little later, double the insurance back then. Right. By 70 already, the insurance companies were wise to the big horsepower, and they were putting a stop to a lot of the high. Uh, horsepower additions to the cars. Absolutely. Now, big block car. What size engine? Let's take a look at it. Okay, it's a it's a high compression, 455. Now, is this a glass hood too? Yes, it is. Were they all glass hoods with these scoops? Um, yes, they were in '70. In '70, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you say you've had this since high school? I've had this since high school. And what did you pay for it then? Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred. What kind of shape was it then? I was in pretty good shape. It, it had a newer paint job on it, um, not as nice as this one, right. but um, it was uh, very nice. It was a very nice driver. Right. So. Um, I, big block four fifty five. Big block four fifty five. High Excellent. compression. Mm -hmm. High compression. Yes. Uh, the difference between this and like Greg's W thirty one is. His engine is gold, where the big blocks were blue. Okay. Excellent. Now, a lot of the parts, I mean, everything looks flawless on this car, even though it is a driver. Mm -hmm. As you say, and the paint's 20... 21, 26 years 26 old. 26 years old. Very good friend and myself uh, painted it back then. And your ex-wife. And my ex-wife. Let's not forget her. She laid the striping she on the sure car. She did lay the stripes on the car, too. <laughs> yes, she did. 